David. All right, here we no, I don't care about you. Here we go. <laughs> we we had to start recording because we already had so much good stuff that was coming up. I haven't even explained how unprofessional we are to our guests. We haven't done any of the normal things. We just got into a straight awesome conversation and had to had to start recording it so we can share it with you. First of all, I'm Dave Rapp. Who's this guy down here? DJ Tally. And we are <laughs> we did, we forget that. We did it. But more importantly, we have uh, a wonderful guest, DOC person. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I, you know what I don't I should probably introduce you first, but I'm not going to because I need to get this story out. Every ah, person, ah. every person who goes up, well, not every. A lot of people go on Jeopardy and they they finish the run, however long it is, and then they kind of like need a break. From Jeopardy, and they don't really watch for a while after that. Yeah, yeah. And the first time I was on, that was the case with me. I was Same. very happy and proud of my run, but I didn't. I wasn't keeping up with what was what was going on in Jeopardy until the beginning of the next season, and there it was, Mister Luigi de Guzman. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start watching Jeopardy again, and I immediately was all in with this guy. He made me love Jeopardy again. Aww. He made me feel things, and like I was just right there from the beginning. Like legit, I was like so happy to watch you, and I'm so excited to have you here now, ladies and gentlemen, Luigi de Guzman. Thanks very much, Dave. I, you know, it's it's funny. It's it's funny that you talk about like your run being over and not like not really wanting to watch anymore. Um, it's I I am only now at that point, right? So um, when I finished my run, I I was on five wins, and so I was waiting for I was waiting for TOC. And I'm little sure. did I know that I would be you know edging for eighteen months. <laughs> um. Uh, no release for you, Luigi. Absolutely, None. A- absolutely not. Like that. Like, but that. Like that's the. You know, that's how it went. That's how. It, that's how it went down. Um, and so, like, ever since I came back from TOC, and you know, now I'm kind of now I'm kind of relaxed. You know, like I have, I have caught up while, like on TiVo while I was folding laundry, and it's <laughs> like. And like the 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 liberation of not having to like write full like in my mind write full scouting reports on everybody coming through um like the like the level of intensity that that i that i had to sustain just watching jeopardy for those 18 months was kind of was kind of wild that sounds it I mean, yeah. you gotta take a yeah. break baby you gotta yeah, leave it you gotta leave it yeah that's the thing we haven't thought about very much or talked about very much is all of the people who because of the delayed toc had to just keep studying keep the anxiety level at bay, keep, you know, keep I mean, being ready. I'm pretty, I'll, 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 I think I've been pretty open about it with, at least with my, at least with my friends. I probably went through at least three burnout cycles, right? Oh, sure. Like, like yeah. uh, I, like I would ramp, like I would ramp up, um, I would ramp up. There was, there was a, st- there, were, there would be stages where I would be doing, you know, five to six hours of prep a night. Um, wow. eight, eight hours on a set, eight hours on a Saturday, Ooh. um, like on top of, on, on top of, you know, normal life. Right. And so you have an actual job. So like you have to also <laughs> do that part. I mean, kind of, yeah, that's, you know, I, 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 I read, I, I read things. I dot I's, I cross T's. I, I, I make, I make print that's really fine. So I have to use new glasses, that sort of thing. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's a strange kind of sorcery they expect out of us. <laughs> But like, um, but like I would go, I would go and then I would be able to sustain that for a couple of months and then I would burn out and I would, I would go get off the wagon. Then I would gin myself up again. I would burn out and I'd get off the wagon. And like, by the time I got on the plane, like, uh, going to take TOC, I left on, uh, I left, I arrived on the Sunday before, uh, before TOC started taping. And I kind of made the decision that I would do. I, I halted my prep at like Thursday night, like oh, the, the previous, the, like the previous Thursday night, because everything good. else was just like everything else was just packing and like, you know, making sure that I have uh, making sure that I have shirts that wardrobe won't hate, uh, <laughs> because like 
my my first episode, I was like, I was glad that I was the last episode of season 38 because I was on my only viable shirt. Wardrobe had rejected all of my other shirts. So, so I like, I, I, you know, there, but for the grace of God, go I in, the, in, 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 in like the village Henley, right? Um, Not the village Henley. I've I know. I've Henley before. Yeah. Right. Like it's like, well like, done. like, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's all that's, there's all the stuff in the, there's all that stuff in the back of wardrobe that yep. I don't know, how, like, I don't know who's been there. And I like, I could probably carry off. Like I could probably carry off a lot of that. Right. Like I can, I can give off a pretty good, like. Reagan administration vibe if I really wanted to. <laughs> you could. You could. I don't I mean, know. Yeah, I I don't know, know how to say that in a way that's not an insult. So, no, sure, it's it's, yeah. it's the truth. It's the truth. You know, it's, it's it's part of our professional formation. You know, you mm-hmm. kind of get you have to give kind of have to give Ronald Reagan every so often. Um, <laughs> that actually broke me for a second. Thank you. <laughs> you you got you to you, you you give him a little Reagan. Just, I mean, so there like, it is. You know, I, I could, I, I could have said it. you got, you got to give a little Dick Cheney, but that's, you know, I, I you know that, why. No, no, no I, one's that, no one's that evil. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, get shot in the face, get shot in the face. And that, well, only if you apologize to the person after they shoot you in the face. That's truly my favorite part of that whole scenario. <laughs> Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My fat head got in the way of your yeah, shot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I blocked your, your buck shot. <laughs> like, like I, I, be, I believe it was. Yeah, I, I, like it, that. Like that. That entire thing. So, you know, um, going back to one of my uh, one of my, the things that I said on air. Like one of the things that I've done um, pro bono on, as I've done a lot, a fair amount of like pro bono immigration with. Um, uh, which in uh, immigration matters that also involve domestic violence. Mm. So um, like that entire Dick Cheney thing, like the way that it went down, I was like, wow, this is some really like abuser, like abuser, <laughs> like abuser dynamic yep. shit going on. <laughs> yes. Like, and like, like there's so that like, and, and like that really creeps me out. And like, um, it's one of it, like it, you know, to, I hate to bring the vibe down, but like, once you've had contact with that, like once you've had contact with that world, a lot of stuff yeah. that like formerly was funny, like yeah. you, you're like, wow, this is not, this is like, like now we're in political ad season and all of the political ads that like are all over your airwaves and all in your like social feeds all seem like abuse, like abuser communications. I mean, you're. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, you're right. Like, like it's, it's, yeah. right? it's like, like it's like it's totally like it's all total like emotional like emotional manipulation and like and and, and abusive stuff and it, it it's it's really lousy and like we're we deserve to be better human beings to each other than that. That is a beautifully accurate statement. I wholeheartedly like, agree. Course. But also, there comes a point where you just embrace the absurdity and then it becomes funny again i mean <laughs> yeah I mean, so, like, no meeting and who gives a shit. <laughs> i mean i always i always tell people that oh god here we go more minor like you know more minor key piano arpeggios with worried white woman voiceovers like you know <laughs> you could just you could just put the teacher from peanuts over a minor piano uh, over a, a minor key piano arpeggio yeah right yeah and like <laughs> And it, like and, you know, and some just black and white stock footage, and you're you're done. Like I don't know that's what it. people, like I don't know why people are paying all these millions of dollars. That's it. That's the whole concept. That's it. That's absolutely. You, you know what? As a <laughs> as as a as a white woman, I'm very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to do something about it. <laughs> So you know, um, you know, so, sorry, sorry to all of the sorry to all the voiceover actors out there, but like. <laughs> Uh, to blow up your scene, right. but yeah, um, yeah, go on. I just think, I think again. I just, I, I almost feel like I need to give you the Mario hat now because I, I feel like you have given us sort of dark Mario energy right now, and I'm super into <laughs> this. this is so, so you know, you know, the funny thing is, of course, as, as, as you know, I, um, well, in, in the game that I ended up losing to Emmett Stanton, everybody's favorite, everybody's favorite. Uh, yeah. I, I, I have called him like the Tom Bombadil of our TFC. <laughs> also an accurate, oh my God. accurate description. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I can't not. Oh, well, yeah, you can't unsee that. No, I can't unsee that. 
No, because it's no. like it, it's, it's absolutely true. He's like he he has this. He just he just floats so beautifully over everything, um, yeah. And and occasion and, and occasionally you know sings things that are like expository, but yep. um, but anyway, I I went down to Emmett and uh, Ken was like, oh, have we met Waluigi? And like everybody was like, wow, that was so rude that Ken the Ken was like uh, that that Ken said that to you. I said, are you kidding me? That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty great. I mean, it's pretty great. This is why you are happy you become a nerd is so that these jokes can land. I'm like, I like I'll, right. everything led to this moment. It was, I'm, like, so, I'm so, so happy I'm a nerd right now. So, mm -hmm. so like that's the other thing. Everybody always asks you, like, oh, what's Ken like up there? And I was like, are you kidding me? It's like, it's like, it's this like of that's like like being up there with Ken is like the the apex of all your parasocial relationships. Because <laughs> I mean, also not inaccurate. Yeah. Right. Like, because like, because you go up and like, number one, it's like, it's Ken Jennings, the host of Jeopardy, the greatest of all time. And also like, he's like your pal. Like you feel like you've known each other forever. And he kind of, and he kind of exists in the same plane as you for a minute. And the, the, the thing about being on stage with Ken is that, you know, you don't feel it's, it's, you feel like, you feel like you're up there with Ken. You know, like, like, like all of yeah. you are up there and you're doing something with Ken and you're doing it together. There's a very, there's a, like, you know, we, we like to talk about Jeopardy, like the game. Right. But this is, this, there's very much Jeopardy, the performance. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. um, and you like, and the, the, the bond that you have with the people in your cast. Right. And mm -hmm. Ken makes that bond really easy. Yes. Yeah. Well said. Yes, I it, you know it deals. With, it goes to my uh, anti-authoritarian issues. I always get like a, a vice principal vibe from Ken. He's the cool vice principal. <laughs> like you know, there's the the principal is the like everybody hates, but then there's the cool vice principal who like you know, talks to your see, kids the, and and like see, the problem. The, the problem with that is that the, the problem with that is like you you can't let that get away. You can't let let that you can't let that feeling win. Because otherwise you start you start treating Ken like the uh, you start treating Ken like you know the substitute teacher, which honestly we all know that's Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got limited authority, but also is technically in charge. Correct. But also, it's so engaging, and he's like, "Hey, kids, you want to learn something today?" And I'm like, "Exactly oh. right." Like, like, okay, like, yeah. like, you, like you 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 can you can, you can see Jimmy wheeling that TV cart in. <laughs> It is 1994, and we oh. know that there's oh, going to yeah. be a vaguely uh, like educational video from PBS, and we're excited. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, <laughs> Jimmy's Jim, Jimmy's rolling that TV cart, and he's got uh, and he's got a rip the uh, he's got a rip from air episode of Nova, yeah, and, and a cup of coffee, <laughs> yep. and he's ready to go. I've also thought of Jimmy as it's 1991, and you are in elementary school PE, and it's raining, so they bring oh my out God, the parachute. Yeah. They bring out oh my the God, yeah. multicolored parachute. Oh my God, yeah. That is Jimmy as well. So he's the kids, the kids still, the, the kids still do the parachute. I like the parachute because I've been chasing that high for the last 30, 35 years. The parachute, one hundred percent. Yeah. I like. I feel. I feel. I feel like that was like a Carter administration thing that kind of hung on for a while and then vanished. Yep. Yeah, right. it is. I was and, there for the original parachute, <laughs> right? Like, and 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 you know, and and like, and I and and me and my brothers have been talking about this. Like, mm -hmm. we all owe Jimmy Carter this enormous apology. I think for lots like, of things, it's true. Yeah, it's 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 it, it, it's like you know, all he ever all he ever did was ask you to be nicer to everybody and think you know and think of and think of your neighbor a little bit, and everybody made just like ruthless fun of him, asking you to put on a sweater for God's sake. And, right, right. and like, and like, you know, and, and, you know, think about all the good that we got. We got parachutes out of it, you know, parachutes. <laughs> it, it would photovoltaic panels on the, uh, on, on the solar, uh, on the, on the white house. We had like all kinds of, we, we had like, we had all kinds of stuff that the stuff that we, we like can't imagine now. Yep. So, yep. you know, we, 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 we backed up and walked away and that's why I have to give Ronald Reagan every so often. <laughs> it's true you have to remove the solar panels from the white house of your life it's oh true. yeah yeah wow that's, wow that's that's a that's a discarded <laughs> they might be giants draft <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god i've often been described as such so that actually makes a lot of sense yeah um, um yeah luigi i knew you were 
smarter than TJ and and me because uh, of your winning record. I wasn't prepared for you to be so goddamn witty. Also, I, this is it is uh, it's distressing and it's troubling. The best, yeah. But also, it um, explains why it explains why I was uh, attracted to your run and why you brought me back into uh, loving te- loving the world of Jeopardy. Like I'm so it's like true. I'm so happy I'm so happy you said that. And like I I've said to a lot of people. That the, the the one thing that you learn about being on is it is absolutely shocking how many people's day that you make just by turning up and you don't even know it and like it's and i guess that's true in like normal life all the time but nothing throws that harder into focus than you know being on syndicated television in front of 10 million people mm-hmm. because like people will come out and tell you that like you know, even like stuff like they enjoyed your run or, um, you know, you get nice notes from your old teachers or yep. like your neighbors will come out and say it like and say hello when they hadn't when they, you know, when eh. and it's and like so many people are so happy to see you just as you are and when you turn up and yeah, like, and, and like I feel like I feel like a lot of people need that like that's a message a lot of people need to hear even outside of the like context of being on television right like like you you literally never know whose day that you're making just by turning up and yeah. that's been like if if you know any like as a like positive experience that's what I take away from it like it's it's mm. it, I I think about that a lot now mm. that's fantastic that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I, you know, it's a shame that you've been such a shitty guest. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I try so hard. You know what? And uh, it's been a failure. And we've been very disappointed <laughs> on every level. You, you know, are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we like we, we were before before we were rolling. I was telling I, I was telling Dave about failure. Um, we, uh, you know, I I I I, not, I knocked myself out of academia because I had a you know crisis of confidence slash uh, uh, slash writer's block. Right? Yeah. Like who like who hasn't fought his way through that? Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> you know, so you know, fa- failure is great. Uh, there's a there's a great um, Allen Ginsberg poem. If you uh, uh, called "Ode to Failure," yeah, that's a great, that's a great song. Uh, and you know, "Oh Failure," I chant your terrifying name. It's such, <laughs> it's 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 fantastic. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's out on. Uh, it, you can stream it um, with jazz bass accompaniment. I did I'm not sure you can. know that. I'm one. sure you can. <laughs> yeah, that there, one. There's, I... a re- there's a record. There's a there's a recording of uh, of Ginsburg reading um, to j- reading "Ode to Failure" with jazz bass. And it's fantastic. You put it on, and suddenly you're an NPR story. <laughs> okay, yeah, I want it. I want it. I just remember like the end of that poem, right? Then the poem was like, I never like, I never, you know, got Earth. I never made it to Nirvana. I never yeah, found X, and then I never, and I never learned to die. And I'm like, yeah, well, well, and then I love it because I'm like, well, we all got to do that at some point, Alan. So, um, but yeah, it's it's a great poem. Yeah, a, that's a that, that's a that's a that's a great one. Um, the uh, the uh, the people that the the TOC field all like know knows me because I'm like the poetry guy, right? Like my whole thing is like go go read some poems, nerds, and <laughs> like I like I, I like I'm like the 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 one thing that the the one thing that like really set me off about this entire like prep process was just how much bulk um bulks flashcarding that I had to do. Um, just, and like, not because I wanted to, but because I knew that everybody else was doing it. And, mm. um, you know, it was like, it, it was okay. Um, I never got my category on, uh, quotes from, uh, Gone with the Wind. I'm very sad about that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Suresh actually shouted me out in his interview, uh, and in, in the first TOC game. Um, I think he like he mentioned Gone with the Wind, and he like he told me that like you know listen for it. I was like yeah sure whatever Suresh. And he like he, <laughs> he did he did it on air, and I saw I was sitting in the green room. I was like oh my god Suresh, he did that. He did. He did. Uh, because like, he did I, give I, a damn. He did yeah, give a damn. Well, so, like, 
<laughs> because like in the last like month or two before TOC, I like had a minor breakdown. I was like, what the fuck is up with Gone with the Wind? If you go through the Jeopardy corpus, right? If you go I said that many a time as a black professor, but I'm just I not mean... expecting to hear it in this context. But go on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like if you go through the Jeopardy corpus, like the the definitive yeah. American novel of the 20th century in Jeopardy is gone with the wind they, I, like, every time it is an unreasonable amount of like vacation. i would like i would i i would like <laughs> i this is one of those things where like i wish i were better at computers because i was like i want a large language model to look at the jeopardy archive and compare references to gone with the wind versus the, every reference to the works of oh Hemingway yeah or sure. uh, or you know or steinbeck like you know why like what like i don't think we've had i think we've had like one clue in 40 years about john dos passos and no like, sure right like 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 yeah. and, and like and, and like if you know if you're, if you're like an american literature nerd or you know right like if you're an american literature nerd you're like why is there so much gone with the wind content like even yeah. over like faulkner right like fucking just i was like yeah if you're gonna do southern sort of not very thoughtful like complicated white shit do Faulkner but no they're they yeah you're not wrong it's like, the like, it's wrong. the it's the Hanseatic League of uh, books <laughs> first up also accurate why do we need to know that much about the Hanseatic League it's an you know, excellent it's, it, question you know it's it's funny because uh, it, it's funny because the the Hanseatic League is uh, the 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 law the 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 commercial laws of the Hanseatic League as they yes. as they uh, as they agreed them in Lübeck were really yeah. were really a big deal as far as um, as far as uh, the the legal recognition and and the 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 way that the way that we understood things like letters of credit and payments and payment systems very back very far back in the day I'm sorry like it's, that's like that's like part no, of my job so well no I mean that's like how I think about like with, like similarly like with felony and sovereignty it's the same thing right like it was like you're like oh, oh we agreed this in 1648 and that's now how we think about nation states what Thanks, Thirty Years' War. Well, Fuck off I mean, forever. yeah. I, I, so you know, it's I, I, what's funny is about what's failing in sovereignty is there's oh, a. I, I walk by. I when I go to the Agreed. supermarket. When I go to the supermarket, there's like the deli case, and then there's like one thing of like Westphalian ham. Yep. And every time I see like I see the the, the guy slicing Westphalian ham, I'm like, oh hey, cuius regio eius perna, right? <sighs> I hate that I know exactly what that meant. Right, and I right. hate that I'm so delighted. This is what happens when you get two history majors together. We have to watch the show now. All right, just, all right, all right. I feel like it's the only way to cut you guys off. <laughs> roll we're, 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 we're going down the spiral. Roll, spiral roll, to, roll tape before, ta roll tape before, TJ, before TJ and I start going about the analysis school. <laughs> Ready for that? All right, put on my. Oh, get ready. Oh, get ready. Oh, that, Jeopardy's that, a sport. Oh, you, so you, got the, you got the training. This is the Jeopardy. It's I love this. In, I love this intro, by the way. It's so good. Here are today's finalists: a stay-at-home dad from Concord, California. Never, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I feel like I've never seen a writer and television personality. I am I never, like he's interviewing. I am never going to have drip like Andrew, though. It's incredible. Right. From Oakland, what? California, yes. Amy Schneider. I know. This is a, this is Amy a Schneider, what the hell? All three of them. Yeah. Victoria killed it. Like, everybody's killing it. Welcome back to the finals yeah, of the Jeopardy great Ken, Invitational Tournament. Ken. We got great Ken, it is your favorite Ken. one turned out to be an epic battle between Amy and Victoria, with Amy needing the very last clue in the double Jeopardy round to keep the win within reach, and then coming up with the correct response in Final Jeopardy. The only player to do so to win by just a few hundred bucks. Remember, our first player to notch two wins in these finals will be named our champion. So Amy Schneider can close this thing out today, but I have a feeling Victoria and Andrew are ready and hey, eager to put a win into their columns this, and force so a game three. Uh, uh, I, I assume you have. I don't know the if you have. Oh, I, 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 watched, I watched this last night. I, I yeah, did, do my, all, prep, eight eight did do my prep this for this one. All new to parenting, us. Yeah. From aches and pains. Also, if you haven't noticed about us, Luigi, we don't do nearly as much prep as you, and that's why we did very charmingly in the wild card and that a little slang Amy, where do we start? Uh, pop culture 400. I actually like this board. The only Again. movie to pair Fred Astaire and Judy Garland <laughs> is this holiday classic. Ugh. Uh, uh, well, no, it's Easter Parade. Oh, Easter God. Out all over Wrong holiday. Pop culture. No one yeah, wants right? it. 
Charles Melton represents the first month in the title of this 2023 film that also stars Natalie Portman and Julianne Moore. Okay. Victoria. What is May, December? That's the film. Eight to eight countries yeah. for eight. Not soccer, but pato, a combination of polo and basketball, was declared the national Argentina. sport there in 1953. Yeah. What is Argentina? Yes. Slanguage 1000. Polo and basketball. Akin to friends with benefits, <laughs> this portmanteau word is an undefined and non-committal romantic career. arrangement. Oh my God. A situation ship. A situation ship. That adds a thousand to you. Awesome. So, the, so this board conforms to my iron law of jeopardy, which is the best board is always the one you can't play. <laughs> yeah. Yugoslavia? Albania? Right. A to A countries oh, for yeah. 1,000. Albania was like, no The desert dwelling fennec fox is its national animal. Algeria? What is Algeria? Yeah. Right. It's gotta be. It's A to A. I Not just realized the category again. My bad. <laughs> to describe a perfect date, a pageant contestant in this film says, Oh my god, it's one of the best not jokes too hot, ever not been too written. Every April we make this show. Every April 25th, people, oh come on, oh it's god. just congeniality. Amy? Is All you need is a light jacket. Logan Sheik and ever. Steven Sater won Tonys for the score of this musical about 19th century students. Spring Awakening. Andrew. What is Spring Awakening? Good for a thousand. I did not know Duncan Sheik Parents did anything. Yeah, that, that, was his, that was his Rudy. big comeback. If mom has so dad's parenting time is called this. What is visitation? Visitation. visitation? That's correct. <laughs> Divorce family. parents for the win. 400. Yeah. Family law. Woof. More common in women, this type of sharp stabbing headache is named for what it feels like. What is mansplaining? Eye or head. <laughs> Victoria. What is an ice pick headache? That's right. Uh, aches and pains, 800? Men get cluster Lord headaches. Byron what a fun combo. An old time word for I feverish pain with too, plague you. Touches my feminist what is it? Ague. Ague. Right. And I, I get I get cluster headaches because I'm the butch, the butch manly man of the two of us. NSAIDs. These. Are you the Victoria. What are no. non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs? Certainly not. not look at my, look at me right now. Aches and pains for a thousand. This word for achy inflammation of the fluid sacs around a joint comes from Latin for bag or purse. Bursitis? Bursitis. Yeah. Bursitis? Right. Slanguage eight. Like disbursement. The four-letter slang word <laughs> also the word purse. goes back to the 1960s. Some say its first fat. letter stands for pretty. PH fat. Yeah. Pretty hot and tempting. That would be fat, P H A T. Amy? Slanguage six. This These adjective people need some slang in their lives. Evil means really or very in New England. Wicked. Style, as in, wicked. the Red Sox are blank awesome. Victoria. What is wicked? Wicked, wicked is right. Oh, All three of you are off to a wicked awesome start, and we're going to take a wicked short break. We'll be back with oh, more man, this action is, in just yeah, a moment. Yeah, this is the board I want. Yeah, yeah so, it's like, right. so, so that's the thing, right? So. After I lost to Troy uh, in the semifinal, the first final board was like my board, and I, and I was like, yeah, "Just how it goes." Well, thanks to whoever yeah. got them here. Well, this is sort of like this is the the most common Pasquale Palumbo lament, right? Is that our dear friend Pasquale is always like, "This should have been my board," and I'm like, "Yes, Pasquale, they all should have been our board." But it takes a village, and I'm so grateful that my village includes. So many people from Jeopardy, his favorite bedtime stories, his play mat, his blanket, um, all that stuff has come from Jeopardy contestants uh, as beautiful gifts. And we're so a cult. grateful to Jeopardy for, for having that be part of my life. That's great. Aww. Come on the show for the baby shower gifts. That's good advice. <laughs> Victoria Gross, how about you? Who would you like to thank? Um, so obviously my family, my, my husband is here. Um, my daughter at home uh, administering three different kinds of medication to a cat the vet described as spicy. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so she's a hero. Um, my, my mom, my late father would be just beside himself with glee about all this. My siblings, my sister's here, my two brothers, and then all my current trivia teammates. So Andrew, Susanna, Troy, Brandon, uh, Guy, Tim, oh, she Shane, out her Steve, and Jeff. So didn't some of them yeah, they were, they were all, the, the, most of them were in the house for TOC. And now for I understand TOC. why you write high norms Although, adorably, my mom kind of just assumed that Victoria was like Troy's cousin or something, which I thought was an incredibly high praise to all parties involved. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to thank a lot of people, you know, directly in my life, and there's some I've probably missed, but... It was I so happy to take to this opportunity to thank uh, like people you. that I've never met. Yeah, yeah. Dave has not has, has, has not done talk to about how much he loves you since the, the tournament, and it's actually uh, incredible. We're so we're so jazzed. Uh, we're like on the line to make it possible for me to be here. You know, I people will sometimes talk about being courageous to come mm. on a game show and win a lot of money, um, but that <laughs> they had real courage, real sacrifice. Yeah. Well said.
All right, we got a tight game halfway through the first round. Victoria, you've got a share of the lead and control of the board. Make a selection. I also want that blouse. She's worn it twice now, and I want it each time. <laughs> in 2003, an 80-hour work week and 24-hour shifts were established as upper limits for these post-first-year internship doctors. Residents. What are uh, residents? That's correct. Working eight. Answer there is the daily double. Oh, no, it's the double. Uh-oh. You can put a little daylight between you and Victoria here, but only if you're correct. Do it. Uh, well, That's Ken, how that works, I've Ken. always wanted to say this, and I have on several occasions. <laughs> Let's <laughs> make two daily doubles. I have wanted to, and I still want to. All right, 4,400 at stake in working hard, hardly working. I used to do drugs. I this still traditional do drugs. term used to do drugs. Thank you, Ken. Laboring male office workers references salary men yes. and gender. What is a salary man? Yes, it works out for you. Eighty-eight hundred dollars. Uh, Luigi, Mitch Hedberg was my favorite comedian uh, in college, at that. and it is, and he shaped far too much of my sense of humor. Oh, this company known so for good. synthetic materials came out with his a His joke about escalators is also one of the best and jokes. Dang, in the my world. feet are still. Please hot. excuse the convenience. Oh, what is <laughs> yeah, except uh, that that uh, the, the running gag here in DC a tough is question that, for that that's just proof Dr. that Dr. Ellen Libby wrote a book on the issue and said, "Rotate from kid to kid if that's any help." This is not an issue for you yet, Andrew. The question is, who is your favorite child? <laughs> Victoria, make a selection. Yikes. A uh, lot of heads are spun. <laughs> uh, parenting for six. It contains five consecutive consonants, and it's the safest way to cut the little one's hot dogs. Lengthwise. Victoria, what is lengthwise? Yeah, no choking. Uh, a to A countries for four. Wow. First no millennium jam. monk Mesrop Mashpots <laughs> is credited with creating this nation's alphabet, seen here. Victoria. What is Armenia? Yes. Uh, parenting for four. Young Bert Bacharach hated taking these with Miss Raymond, and they're a source of conflict in many a home. Lessons? Oh, yeah. Practice? Or music lessons. Can you be more yeah. specific? Yeah, yeah. Lessons. that's right. Uh, working yeah. hard for four. <laughs> in that's September 2016, the Note 7 was revealed, <laughs> as it really wasn't supposed to catch on fire. Andrew? What is Samsung Galaxy? Yeah, Samsung Galaxy is right. Yeah. Language four? It means to respond quickly and sharply to criticism, not to applaud in return. Clap back. Andrew. What is to clap back? Good. It's language two. An update of taking care of this is standing on this, which Drake helped popularize. Business. None of you say standing on business, apparently. But no. Nope. Yeah, that's the next big thing. Andrew, if you like. Sorry. That's right. No, you, first up, Luigi, I got you. Johns Hopkins yeah. defines this as persistent long-standing pain that may be on and off. Or Jeopardy. And ah. What is chronic pain? That's right. Working hard 200? That's the 2022 right. study said this state had the longest average work week, 41.4 hours. Commercial fishing and drilling for oil ain't easy. Alaska. And Alaska? That's it. Pop culture 200? I love Paris in the springtime, says one of the classic songs by this American composer. Victoria. Shakira. It is Cole Porter. It is Cole Porter. Eight to eight countries for two. <laughs> I dropped that one. The official so language of this small country is Catalan. Andorra. Victoria. What is Andorra? Yes. And parenting. There you go. Clue. The CDC has an online this versus lean time tool to see how much your kids are sedentary versus exercising. Victoria. What is screen time? Green. Screen time versus lean time. Yes, the eternal struggle. You're just $2,000 off. I don't understand lean time. Is that because it's for like exercising? I don't like yeah, it. I know. Yeah, I know. That it's, feels it's really, really bad because my, fir my first thought was cough sore. Oh, mine too. Mine too. I was like, why are we a rapper? Why are you giving your baby... Pops her up in Sprite. Andrew, here you're in third place, but a lot of money on the board and two daily doubles. You'll be selecting from these categories. Lean we have novel title no, characters back. at first. <laughs> That's right. You don't know me like oh, that. Oh, that, oh, that was the other thing. Constant when there was a triple stumper on Fat three, Joe, and I was just so mad that nobody right? respected the terror right? right? After I was right? like, what is going on? <laughs> David played. He's the Lord. Oh, there you Adam, go. Where do you want to go? A secret chord, 1600. A mighty anguished chord in his 10th symphony might have something to do with his wife Alma's affair with Walter Gropius. It was Gustav Mahler. It was Mahler. Right. Uh, Shout out to no, Tom Lehrer for teaching you that. <laughs> Justin Quayle carefully tends to his plants while seeking his wife's killer in this John le Carre thriller. The Constant Gardener. Victoria. What is go. The Constant Gardener? Right. Uh, yeah. Novel title characters 12. Wole Soinka's The Interpreters follows five young men who return home to this country after studying abroad. Nigeria. What is Nigeria? What is Nigeria? Yeah. Right. Um, not Apparently the, word, the, the, the team and Dundee there. United is an insult in Nigeria. I learned this only today, and it's incredible. 
I did not know that either. Apparently in Nigerian oh, English, right. it's like... Here's your clue in novel title like, character. What are you, Dundee? The first name of this title character of a Defoe novel is an old word for a prostitute. What is Maul Flanders? That is correct. You have a big lead. Makes sense. Well done. It wasn't safe on Friday, though. Select again. Oh, come on, kid. For 12. Let brief. As the year 2001 neared, <laughs> Lord Falconer was happy when Tony Blair put him in charge of the huge structure, then called this. What the is millennium? the Millennium Dome? Uh, in charge of the Millennium Dome. Now the O2. Is it Millennium Bridge? It's going to be a Millennium thing. For 12. <laughs> a Scottish Terrier is the fitting mascot of this Pittsburgh school. Amy. It's fucking Carnegie Mellon. Yeah, Mellon. Yeah, it has to be Carnegie Mellon. 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 I lost that. I missed that one on stage for Final Jeopardy. Uh, nah. Lord 1600. This lord was no doubt delighted by the birth of his son Winston in 1874. Who's Churchill? Adolf Churchill. <laughs> Who is yeah. Churchill? Can you be more specific, Andrew? <laughs> Who is uh, John Churchill? Sorry, no. Victoria. Who is Randolph Churchill? That's correct. Um, let's try It Pleased the Lord for Eight. It pleased the 18th century philosopher Lord Monbado to think that these Asian creatures, the largest apes then known, are human. Orangutans. Yes. Um, so which is what orangutan means. Yes. Old man of the forest. Colleges in California yeah. include yeah. Spencer and Pomona. Hey. Yeah. Claremont colleges. What are the Claremont yeah. colleges? Yes. That's right. Record 2000. Shout out to my ex-wife. Something Who's called the high tone substitution is found in the. I was a second choice candidate for that. Duke Ellington for Pomona for their African history job. Victoria. Who is Strayhorn? Hold on. Yes. I was so mad that I didn't get this one. Coca-Cola tycoon <laughs> Asa Candler donated $1 million and 75 acres of land for what became this Atlanta University. This? Oh. Um, right. Yeah, How that makes sense. The first seat's 2000. I just think Blackie. The Kellogg School of Management <laughs> is part of this university. Michigan. And university of Michigan? State. What is Northwestern? Michigan. That's right. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. This 1959 Miles Davis album begins with Bill Evans' piano, including a famous Mrs. pair of chords. What is kind of blue? What is kind of blue? That's the album. Uh, the solo record, record uh, cadence. He lived until uh, 1827, but his last time as soloist with an orchestra was in 1808, opening his fourth piano concerto with a gentle chord. Beethoven. Corey. It was Beethoven. Yeah. Uh, David played for 12. That was... Jessica Jones, played that by Kristen Ritter, too many words had to deal with like, Kilgrave, gotta be played Beethoven, by him. But I stopped oh, listening. Oh, the, the Doctor Who guy. David Tennant. Tennant. Right. Yeah. It's my favorite yeah. doctor. 1200. The doctor who can. Yeah, there haven't been too many of those. Casita. Yeah. Casita. 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 Like, yes. like, where was this? Where was this board? Right? And so there. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, boy, oh, boy. You got control back just like in time for that, Amy. What do you want to wager? Back, I will bet it all. All right, you kind of have to do it. Here's your clue consonant vowel times three. Catholics hoping for special grace may pray this. Novena. Said for nine consecutive yes. days. What is a novena? novena? Novena is right, yes. Unless for the intention of a dead much, person, much it's a it's yeah. it's for 10 days. Constant Val 2000. Right. Related to the world. Catholic high school and now working for Catholic college. I was like, all right, I got this unlocked. Records. Amy, what, what is, is a lacuna? lacuna? Right. David played 16. Shut this up. David Ew, played David. those great guitar solos on Pink Floyd's songs <laughs> Time and Gilmore. Money, to name just two. Gilmore, also now a Russian. Gloria? Who is Gilmore? Uh, David Russian Gilmore is right. Uh, David played for 2000. David Bowie played the baby-stealing Goblin King in this 19th century. Why is this the most exciting? Labyrinth. What's the hardest one? That was all of our sexual this awakening. This was pleased to be the husband no, of Mary, Queen of Scots, but not to be <laughs> yeah, mysteriously killed in no, 1557. Lord, Lord Darnley. Andrew. Who's Lord Darnley? Very nice. That's right. Yeah. Novel characters. You want to hear something, TJ? I've George never Elliott's seen works named for title characters. We're going to fix that. Adam Bede, Silas Dance, Marner, magic, and Dance. this alliterative one. Victoria. Who is Daniel Deronda? Well done. Uh, novel title. I've literally <laughs> never heard of Daniel Deronda, novel but he does sound like a friend of mine. I've heard of it. She's a senior at Ewan High who is bullied by her peers. We know this. It's a Carrie. It's Carrie. Yeah. Yeah. Who is Carrie? Right. College is for four. The Grotto of Our Lady of Lords at this Indiana school is one seventh the David. size of the original in France. David, the University Amy, what is of Notre Dame. Dame. That's right. Constant Valley. There we go. Touchdown, Look, Jesus. I, I believe you might have gone there. It's just the this old time term for a male escort. Is the gigolo. Is a gigolo. What is a gigolo? Just the gigolo, yes. David played 800. This 40 year old slugger retired after a 2016 David season David in which Papi he hit 315 with 38 home runs and 127 RBI. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Who is Ortiz? It is. Consonant vowel for Ortiz. four? David Ortiz. Wait, what? Mm. Students taught E. coli bacteria how to solve these number puzzles? I'm kind of freaking out. 
Sudoku. Okay. What are Sudoku? That's it. A secret chord. Which is why That's I don't do it. Doing in my shut up people's <laughs> ideas of harmony yeah. with the chord name for this lover of Isolde. Tristan. 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 That's right. David played 400. <laughs> I would have totally answered like that too because I'm very chill. Signed a 250 right. million dollar contract to play oh, for this. The LA Galaxy. It was Galaxy. Yeah, who are the LA Galaxy? Yes. And Don't you boo us. The last clue. <laughs> Lord Dunning was pleased to report no security risk in a scandal of this decade involving a government minister and Christine Keeler. What is 60s? 60s. What are the 50s? Sorry, no. No, 60s Henry. maybe. Or the 1960s? For Fumo affair in the that was the that was the only safe for work picture of her that they could put on the say, television. I was like, <laughs> not far behind. I was like, I've never seen her look that. Q3. Uh, Dress. Mythology. Yeah. We'll come oh, back with the after they make their wages. Uh, Stay with us. Cerberus. Champion can be an attorney. Oh, guy. A puzzle designer. A stay-at-home dad. A champion can be anybody. So why not a priest, professor, dietitian, engineer, great. writer, I love it. actor? Why not you? Love it. Take Look it at all of them. Of I noticed that was like, we're champions. literally Mohawk. What the hell? Finals game and possibly the tournament. And both of them are dramatic <laughs> color. Final Jeopardy clue in mythology. Here's that clue. Nope. A peasant who became the king of Phrygia created this intricate problem the that was solved the in Gordian the Gordian Knot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 30 seconds. Good luck. As an Aries, I deeply appreciate the idea of coming up to the Gordian Knot and just uh, uh, hacking it in half of the sword. That just is called problem solving. It's, it's the ultimate. It's the ultimate jock move. And, well, like, I mean, That's honestly, me, David. Honestly, the, 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 the whole life of Alexander the Great and his and his companions, like. Like, how, like, how broed out do you think Alexander and Cletus the Black were all the fucking time? It's all the incredible. time. All oh the time. God. Andrew, he That's, had $8,600 coming into final. And, like, and, and to its proper bisexual conclusion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's just absurd. That's a puzzle famously I mean, solved by Alexander. You almost feel bad for, you yeah, you almost feel bad for Roxanne, Andrew, you A little bit, but also kind of actually happy things. for her. That was gorgeous. Amy Schneider was in second with $26,000. I feel like Roxanne was like, at least I get a break. Gordian not. She's correct. She wagered eleven. And then she put out the red light. Between she currently has a one dollar lead over Victoria. Going Grace. doing it again. Now. Victoria's, Victoria's not missing this one. Read her expression. What did she write Victoria's down? Victoria's not missing this one. Nope. What is the Gordian? Hi Nora. Not correct. She will add fourteen thousand four hundred one. There we go. And yeah. the there we go. The finals with fifty-two thousand and one. And we will see you tomorrow night. For Amy. Well, tonight, Only actually. For Victoria. Andrew is yet to not show Hug Andrew! You hug him! Yeah. Uh, so, so I don't know how you guys uh, have been uh, have been seeing the uh, the reaction out on socials, but there are a lot of joyless uh, there are a lot of joyless goblins out there that, uh, oh, that dear. have not enjoyed all of the hugging. Um, oh, seriously? That's one of the best parts. So and 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 like I I I I feel like like this is a good time for me to get on record for this. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Um, Dang it. Uh, when we all like when we all first went on, a lot of us it was uh, it was still COVID, and we couldn't yep. like we couldn't even look over. All of us. And, and like and, and and like I remember just feeling just miserable like I, like all i wanted to do was to like go over and like shake somebody's hand after the like after the game and like have and like have at least that like moment that you know like it's it's okay right we're like we're good now right like that that's a, there's a very that that like that's a um i think what people uh what a lot of people don't get on the couch is this is not like this is this is we are not like out there to kill each other right like we're no. not out there like we're not this is we we happen to be we happen to be playing a game but we are not out there to like crush each other right and like uh, like i feel like those people uh, at home that think that like this is supposed to be like hyper competitive or whatever have been really disappointed with this with this last season because they, because the 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 show to its credit has actually left in footage of us um yeah being like human like treating each other like human beings and um i was i, I like personally it was the it was like the best thing about being up at toc and like like actually being able to give like i like when like when i we had that game with me and kevin and javeria like that was really emotional right like we had yeah. all 
we had all prepped for TOC together, more or less. Like we had been, yeah. we'd done a lot of prep together. We'd like been through a lot together emotionally and to be like at there and in that moment. And, um, you know, uh, I think it's really strange. I think it, it, it's really strange. And, and there's, there, there's something like broken in the way that we think of each other um, societally that we feel like it's necessary. It's necessary that if we are competing with with each other, we must just grind each other to powder. Um, like, I like I, I I don't know where that started. I don't know how that that continues, but like, you can only sustain that kind of life if you are absolutely sure you will never need another person, another human being again. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like shit man even in the last in the in the run since i've been on jeopardy i have uh, i have you know i i the friends that i have made on the show to include now you guys actually um you know i i have i have you know relied on i have relied on them and and benefited from benefited from their support um, for stuff that had absolutely and, and and given support to to my other friends from the show for things that had absolutely nothing to do with the show or with the competition. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and that's I feel like that's the only real way to be. Um, and you know, people on social media have been like really, really bad about like oh, this is mm. like you know like oh I'm, fuck I'm, off I'm, yeah and, I mean... and I'm like look man. In life, you've got two choices: you make friends or you make enemies. Like, yeah. what, what's it like? What's it going to be? And like, even if you are the, even if you are like the most self-centered, evil person, right? How many enemies can you handle? Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, how, like, how much time do you, like, how much time do you want to yield to people that you have made your haters? I mean, um, I, so like that's yeah. that's that that you know that that's my. You know, that's that's like my serious message to like if 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 this gets out to anybody out on the couch, like how much time are you going to like how many haters are you going to make for yourself that you didn't need to? And how much time are you now going to spend on those people? Yeah. And I, I humbly submit that it's just not worth it. It is way cooler to, you know, to make excellent friends who will call you in the middle of the day and make you forget your terrible writer's block. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know? I just have to say, like this TLC was great for so many reasons. Yeah, it was it was it was great for me personally because I had more of a connection to sure, more than people banana. there. Yeah, and, which was awesome. But one of my, one of the highlights for me was your your uh, interview where you talked about making friends, and yeah. it um it, it was everything that I think anybody who's been in a tournament here or hopefully you know the new the new competitors that can come back and at in a time where they can interact with each other the way that we couldn't hopefully they're building that camaraderie as well oh I, uh, I, but it I, was I, it's it's uh, uh, if anybody if any of these guys if anybody's out there waiting to get on um you you need to appoint a class secretary for your tape day the minute you arrive yeah <laughs> somebody's got somebody's got to take charge of that 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 group text yeah. because you are only you are only, you are each other's only secret sharers yeah, so that's right. You better, you, like, right. you better get, you better get on that. Like, yeah. that's that, that's that's absolutely key. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. I, like, I, oh no, no. I, I, I feel like I feel like we got to get all these public service announcements out now that people, are, <laughs> now that people are, people yes. getting ready to get back on. Take you know? the anytime test, and when you get on the show, make sure somebody's getting phone numbers so you can have a WhatsApp going. Absolutely. But, but I was about social media. I was going to say it's. Uh, you know, so many people in our group had, you know, uh, went to social to see what people were saying. That's not how I'm built just because I don't care. It's a good move. But, good life choice. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. also, it's it's just such a short-sighted look at competition. Like, you're never, you're competing against the game. And the people, the other people there are there to bring out the best in you. Yeah, is how I look. At. Like, that's the only yeah. way that's going to make me feel good about myself and about everything. I'm not there to beat podium number two, three, whatever the other numbers are. I'm there to beat the game. And part of that is my buzzer technique. And yeah, if somebody else is good on the buzzer, that means I have to learn how to be better on the buzzer. It's it's not, you know, uh, 
luckily, you know, with, with it, very few exceptions, the people uh, are really, really great. And, you know, so that, again, so I, I, I got to give the show. Here. I got to give the show a lot of credit. Uh, I got to give the the contestant department a lot of credit for this, Laura and um, Laura and the rest and the rest of the gang on sure. the contestant That's department. Um, they do a really good job of selecting actual human beings. Yeah, um, you know we haven't had Watson try and sneak in yet yet, <laughs> um, but like, I mean that that's probably coming in a season or two. Just wait, um, but like. I think a lot of people uh it's been funny being out like in on social media and out on the subreddit and people i think people are way too concerned about like how you do on jeopardy um like it helps right like you know if you if you manage to come home with uh, with a couple of if you manage to come home with more than one thing to the left of the comma that's a pretty that, that's a pretty good that, that's a pretty good day's work right absolutely but it but it it, it, it isn't that right like you like to get to that point um you to get to that point i always tell people that you are asking to be a guest in 10 million living rooms yeah right so carry yourself in such a way that those people in the 10 million living rooms will willingly invite you to watch tv with them for a half hour mm -hmm. and like a lot of, a, a, I think a lot of people, the people that make it through either consciously or unconsciously understand that. Yeah. And the people that, and, and people that are trying to get on the show need to like, need to remember that, you know, uh, uh, notwithstanding all the social media negativity about, oh, these are all the same people all over again, <laughs> you know, um, that the great appeal of the show is that these are three people that are pretty cool that could conceivably be your neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And like, look at how clever your neighbors are or <laughs> which means look at how clever you are. Right. You can come out and be this like this, like this, is the, there's a, there's something, there's something deliciously inclusive about that, uh, about that vision uh, of the show and its viewers and its players um, yeah. that I think is, that I think is really beautiful and is not, um, is not really common anymore. So, um, you know, if, if you're, if, if you're out there listening to this and, you know, you're, you're thinking you want to get on the show, just remember, right. Like turn up as yourself, be the, mm -hmm. you know, be the cool, be the cool neighbor, you know, be, because I know, because I know, I know you're out there, you're, you're out there and you are cool neighbors, your neighbors will say, will say so, right. Like it, it isn't about, it isn't about playing a trivia game really well under, uh, on television that kind of happens, Right, but the uh, but to get there, you to get there, you got to be a human being first, and it's yeah. a lot easier than you know putting your hand in a box full of pain with a poison needle at your neck. Excellent <laughs> choice. Excellent choice. Well done. Yeah, I I, I still got to see the second part. I, I still got to see the second part. I also haven't seen it yet because life happens. So oh I yeah, also yeah, also also apparently like the 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 popcorn bucket is all sold out, and I'm very sad about it. Not the Denasi. Oh shame! Yeah, I said no, that on this, this on is, the program. I did not. This is not where I thought we were ending. Like <laughs> Luigi was doing such a great pontification here about humanity and friendship and being a good neighbor, and and boy, that just dropped out real quick. But it, you know, well, much, see, like, a the, sand, like, much the, like a sandworm. The, Shy halud. Yeah, but that, like, but the, but this is you know that that that's the essence of it, right? Like uh, that's the essence of it, right? Like I'm I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm, I'm sitting here talking to you two guys. You know, in in the weirdness of the internet but it is entirely it's entirely plausible that we could that we could have walked in and turned on that and turned on that tv and sat on the couch and and watched you know and watched a game show and hung out right yeah, and like absolutely. that's the and, and like that's the that's the magic of it right that's the magic of it you 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 talk to you talk to a different guy every week and you do exact and you do exactly the same thing and that then that repeats over and over so like you know I, I, you know, if people are out there, they should take the hint. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, I like, we know, we know you're cool. We, we know you're cool. Let yourself be cool. Don't worry about, don't worry about the game. The game will take care of itself. Just be cool. And as always, take the damn test. I keep now, yeah. I, I yeah. aggressively evangelize. Just take the test. 
Yet literally the worst thing happens is you wasted, you know, you haven't wasted. You take it some time out of your life to take it. Yeah, I, I think so many people so many people get this complex about like, oh man, I'm gonna do so bad. I'm like, look, it's not the fucking bar exam. Right. <laughs> and, and, and so and, and like and so like the only like the like we were talking before we were talking before about um getting prepped and how how i went through a couple of burnout cycles well that was only because um i knew that i was coming back for toc going going for my initial run not even a thing yeah. because yeah. like why would i why would i even bother i like i would tell people that it is not worth my time to spend this much anxiety on such a low probability event yeah. <laughs> right like like you know there's there's only a couple of hundred people that ever that ever get on the show every year right and uh and like why am out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of people why am i going to get myself worked out about being that guy yeah right when they yeah. call me they call me and like and i had been taking uh, taking the online test off and on since like i guess when they first offered it and it was earliest record i was able to find yes i actually did i did some prep for this was uh, probably 07 love it. it was like actually 07 or 08 so oh, wow. and and like you know you you take it and you get discouraged and then you know your classmate tells you why like why isn't your ass on jeopardy take the test already so i was like all right we'll take it together and you know, it like like that happens like it, it shouldn't like it's it's a very cool thing but it shouldn't define what yeah. you do or be like no. it's 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 the night it's the nice uh, i always like I, I have taken to telling people that this is like the dividend for having lived a curious life mm. right like i have been curious about stuff you know i've read broadly you know, I have giggled. I have giggled at the names of the Roman emperors. Shout out <laughs> Balbinus uh, and Pupienus. Um, like, like these are the like you know, and and then like it has given me a, a chance to do uh, to do this thing. It is not something that I like. I like came out. I was like, I'm gonna fucking do this, right? Like, it, like I, that. That's another kind of toxic thing in our culture where we're like, you got to have a direction. No, it's perfectly fine for you to like take like detour and do something really cool and then go back to go back to whatever whatever it was that you're doing suitably enriched by it yeah right like you know that's like that's the best part of the fairy tale right you all lived happily ever after but you you had to go through all of the magic stuff yeah right so you know go take the test do magic be happy I mean, yeah. you know what the first time I saw you on TV I was like I want to be friends with this guy Aww. legitimately and now I am. And so dreams can come true via Jeopardy. Thanks. Man. Man, guess what? First time I took the test was 1996. Oh, that's the, that's the, that's the uh, answers on a, po- that, that's the uh, self-addressed stamped envelope era. <laughs> I drove over from Phoenix, got a hotel room, took this, took the test on the Jeopardy stage sitting in the audience. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My, uh, so, uh, so like in high school, I actually knew, uh, through because I was a I was National Junior Classical League, so we did Kurtaman, which is like quiz bowl for Latin yep. students. Yeah, is, super cool. It, yeah, which is exactly exactly what you believe it to be, and uh, <laughs> and I knew uh, I I through that network I actually knew somebody that won the team the, the team tournament back in the day. So mm. it was, uh, it, was uh, it was and like and one of my friends ended up getting on about ten years ago. So like, it was always like it was always in the background, but it was never I, like it was such a yeah. it, it felt so remote. I was like, oh, it's never gonna happen. And then it happened. It was really cool. So like, I, I'm I'm mad at myself for not you know for for not being uh, for not being more about it. Well, but, if you if you were more about it, you'd be you'd be too good for us because you I, <laughs> also, you're you, already you, you're already you you're be... tournament of champions level. You shouldn't even be on our show. Is Luigi, you can't. Well, first off, that's what they think. We're awesome and we love you. But um, uh, Luigi, you can't be more about it, you weirdo. Like you, you, you first off went into an eighteen-month edging cave where all you did was read nonstop Jeopardy facts. Then you won seven hundred and forty-two games, and then you made it to the <laughs> semifinals. You're a fucking wizard. So like, you really can't be more about it. But one of the things I love is you're you're the, the tr- mo- you're the most you're the most unlikely Hagrid in this uh, in, in this particular <laughs> universe. <laughs> 